Hello everyone, this is Derek Smith with Comprehensive Credit Repair. Welcome you to another one of my credit repair tips. Today I'm going to talk about credit card usage and how it impacts your credit score. Your credit report is going to be influenced by a lot of different things, but it is through your credit card use that your credit report might be impacted the most. It is vital for credit cards to be managed properly when their revolving natures are considered. Many people who have significant credit related issues have such problems because they did not use their credit cards correctly. It is very easy for people to spend above their financial ability to repay and therefore have more unsecured debt than what is healthy. A credit card is not like an installment loan where a very specific amount of money has to be paid every month. It is up to you to decide how you are going to use your credit card. Your credit rating can be directly influenced by more than just the amount of money you spend on your credit card. Your credit score will be impacted by many points relating to how your credit card is used. And I'm going to talk about those points in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. How often do you use your credit card? You can use your credit card for many purchases. You can use it for paying for purchases online with ease. Websites can save your credit card data so you can use it as desired. You can even use a credit card to pay for something at a vending machine or a store or a laundromat or wherever you may be. The number of times you use your credit card might influence how well your credit rating will develop. Those who use their credit score more will be interpreted by FICO as being high risk consumers. They are being too reliant on their credit cards, therefore making it easier for them to lose control and add more charges to their cards than necessary. Those who do not use their cards that often will be less likely to get into financial trouble. Your credit card use is important and you have to think carefully about how often you're going to use your card and that you recognize what you are spending your card on. This includes not only your spur of the moment charges, but also expenses that you might attach to your card. You may send your card information out to a certain billing company to be used for automatic monthly payments for some kind of service. The goal is to keep from having too many of these payments on the card so that you don't lose track of what you are accumulating as debt. Let's talk about how much of your limit is used. The credit limit on your card can be a few thousand dollars in most cases. You cannot afford to go too close to your limit as that might be a sign that you are spending too much on something or that you are not in control of your spending. If you max out that car, you're spending more than what you had intended to use. This is a threat that can end up hurting your credit because it shows you are not willing to work inside the limits that were set for your car. You can get regular updates online about all your spending and all your payments on each card. Checking online helps you determine how you are using your car. What about the number of cards that you have? The total number of cards you have can make a difference in your credit rating. Those who have more credit cards are likely to lose control over how they are paying on their cards, therefore making it harder for their credit histories to grow in a healthy way. Each card has certain benefits attached. These include cards that offer specific types of rewards. Some people also prefer to divide their card based on different reasons for purchases. One card may be used exclusively for gas purchases, while another is made for online orders, for instance. While this might be a convenience for some people, there's always a threat that the cards can get out of hand. Your credit history might be hurt if you have too many cards at a time. Although you might be able to show that you are responsible to pay on all those cards on time, that does not necessarily mean that you're going to make everything work well for you. Having a number of cards could create a sense of disorganization in your life as you struggle to manage all of those cards. Keeping your card usage in check based on different concepts is important. Be sure to look at your online accounts to see how you're using them. You can review multiple cards at the same time if they have been provided to you by the same bank or other issuing company. Let's talk about the impact of late payments on your credit score. Late payments are damaging to credit profiles. You could be at risk of significant trouble surrounding what you owe. Late payments on any debts that you have are going to negatively influence your credit report. However, a single late payment might not make an impact on your rating. You might find that having one late payment versus several on-time payments may not influence your credit history. One late payment may be interpreted as an isolated event. The long-term trend must show that the single late payment is an aberration that is not normal. When this appears, the risk of your credit being hurt will be minimal. Even with that in mind, it's best for you to watch for how well the payments you make are handled. You must watch carefully for how well the payment is handled and that you are in control over what you are doing with each card you have. Missing just one payment is not going to be a problem if you regularly make payments as usual, but you should still watch for what you are doing with your money and that you don't go overboard with regards to not having enough money on hand. 
Keeping your late payments under control is critical. Having a calendar or other solution on hand for managing your payment schedules is always useful. You cannot afford to wait until the last minute to make your payments. It can take a few days or hours for a credit card group or other entity to record your payment. This timing can be even greater if you send your payment out by mail instead of online. Let's look at what constitutes a late payment. A payment on a credit card typically is considered late if it has not been made in the last 30 days. During the 30-day period, you would have the opportunity to pay your credit card in full without incurring added interest charges or fees. After the 30-day period, you will be charged a late fee and also lose points off your credit rating. A credit card company expects you to be able to pay what you owe or at least the minimum amount within that 30-day period. What about share cards? An interesting part of today's credit score technology is that your name's appearance on different cards can make an impact. When you work with credit cards, you are listing yourself as being an authorized user on those cards. This can be important if you have a card with multiple people named. You might have a card that has your name and your spouse's name or the name of someone else who is close to you. This means that you and that other person are going to have that card listed on your credit reports. You must look at how your name is listed on different cards. Even if you are just one of many people whose name is listed as an authorized user on a card, you will still have that card listed on your credit report. Therefore, you should keep tabs on each card that you have in your name and that you are fully aware of the charges on it. So does the credit card brand make a difference? You might have various credit cards that are linked to different credit card companies. Visa and MasterCard are the most popular options, but American Express is also popular. And don't forget about Discover Card and various international brands like Diners Club and JCB. The credit card brand you have is not going to make an impact on your credit score. Paying off an American Express on time is worth just as much as if you paid off your Visa card on time. Although each company has its own terms for using credit cards and its own level of prestige, they will all contribute the same to your credit rating. It is the total amount of money you owe on a card that will make the biggest impact. You could owe a small amount on an American Express card, but that would not make a huge dent in your credit report than if you owe five times as much on a Discover card. Having an extended variety of cards from different brands is not going to impact your credit score. Do these different credit card brands have any differences? The fact is that these card brands are methods of payment that rely upon banks and other issuers to back their cards. MasterCard, Visa, and all those other groups are not going to determine the rates, rewards, or other things you can receive. Rather, they're going to be relying on what those banks have to offer. It's true that some of these card brands will operate their own customer service departments to handle disputes or concerns with some of these cards and how they're paid off. Others might offer different types of card products that can be licensed through banks with some cards offering more rewards or access to special functions. In the end, these cards are dictated by the banks and lenders they partner with. The Visa card system is more of a protocol used by retailers for managing payments, for instance. When Visa teams up with a certain lender, that card company will get its card out to more people. It's up to that lender to do everything else. Look, the purpose of this video is to make you aware of how well your card is managed and that you understand what features it has and how it's going to impact your credit score. Look, fixing your credit is difficult and I'm a pro at it and I can do it for you. If you need help raising your credit score, learn more at www.comprehensivecreditrepair.com. Again, that's www.comprehensivecreditrepair.com. And by the way, when you sign up for my credit repair service, you get a free vacation to one of 51 locations I have available. I'll see you on the next video.